Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use MongoDB on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what is MongoDB? So MongoDB is a cross-platform document-oriented database program, which is also classified as a NoSQL database, right? So MongoDB is one of the most popular NoSQL database programs which we can use. So let's see how we can download it first and then we will see how we can install and use it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for MongoDB and the first result which will appear here will be from mongodb.com. So I'm going to click on this mongodb.com website which is going to redirect me to this web page. Now on this mongodb.com website, you will be able to see uh, these tabs here. We need to hover over the product tab and then just move to the community edition section here, right? So we need to download the community server, which is a free uh, to use community server. So just hover over community edition and then click on community server here, which is going to redirect us to the downloads page. And you can see uh, there are uh, many uh, variants of this MongoDB servers are available. You want to download this one, which is MongoDB community server. And from here, you will be able to uh, select the version of MongoDB, which you want to install. I'm going to install the current stable version, which is 5.0.5 at the time of making this video. The platform is Windows, obviously, and the package I want to download is in the MSI format. There is also this zip format which you can download. But for now, I'm going to select MSI here and then click on download, which is going to start the download of this MongoDB Windows.msi file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this MSI file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this MSI file and let me minimize my browser. And you can see the MongoDB installer is started now. So on this first window, you don't need to do anything. You just need to verify the version and then click on next. And on the next page, you will see the license terms and conditions agreement. If you agree with this, just check this checkbox and then click on next. And then uh, you need to choose the setup type. So we are going to choose the complete setup for MongoDB. So I'm going to just select this and then uh, you will see this kind of window. Now here you can see the install MongoDB as a service uh, selected and I'm going to leave this first option as run service as network service user and then you have the service name which is going to be called MongoDB which is OK and these are the data and log directories where your MongoDB will be installed and it will save its data and it will save its log. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave everything as default and then click on next. And on the next window, it says install MongoDB Compass, right? So MongoDB Compass is the official graphical user interface for MongoDB, which you can uh, install and use. So why not? Uh, we are going to install MongoDB with MongoDB Compass. So just leave this checkbox as checked and then click on next and then click on install but first of all it's going to show you this warning which says do you want to allow this app to uh, make changes on your device i trust this app so i'm going to click on yes here which is going to start the installation process so just wait for this process to complete so now i can see that mongodb compass has been started and you can see it looks like this and also the installation of mongodb has been finished right so first of all, let me minimize this compass and you can see this uh, installation of MongoDB has been finished. So I'm going to click on this finish button. So now once MongoDB is installed on your Windows 11 operating system, how we can check whether everything is working fine or not. So the best way is to just open your command prompt. So just search for CMD here and then open the command prompt. And once the command prompt is open, you need to give mongo command. So just write mongo here and then press enter. But it says mongo is not recognized as an internal or external command. And why it's showing this message? 
you might have guessed it right because we haven't set the environment variable for mongodb so let's go to the location where mongodb is installed on our windows 11 operating system it's in c directory and then program files and then there will be this uh, mongodb directory and then there will be server the version and then you will see this bin directory here where all of your mongodb related executable files are here the two files which are of interest to us are mongo.exe file and mongod.exe file so what we are going to do so we are going to simply copy this path until bin and then i'm going to just uh, click on search once again and then search for environment variables and when you type first few letters of environment you will see uh, this uh, result which says edit system environment variables click on it which is going to open this kind of uh, window here click on environment variables and then under system variables click on the path uh, environment variable and then double click on it and here we are going to add this new path which is for mongodb executable files so this is the path which we have copied so i'm going to paste this path and then press enter and then click on okay okay and once again i'm going to click on okay so once your environment variables are set i'm going to open the command prompt once again and here once again i can give the mongo command so i'm going to just write uh, mongo and then press enter and this time it's going to show me this version of mongo and it has opened the mongo shell right so in the mongo shell you can give your mongo related commands for example if you want to uh, view all the databases you need to give this command show dbs and then semicolon and then press enter and it's going to show you all the databases now in order to create a new database in mongodb in the shell you need to give this command so you can just uh, write use and the name of your database so i'm going to name my database as uh, uh, let's say my uh, db which is simple and then press enter and you can see it says switched to db my db so once this database is created we can give uh, this show db's command again and check whether this database is created or not so just uh, right show dbs but still you can see you will not see the name of your database which you have created and why is that because until and unless you fill your database with some documents you will not see uh, it here so if your database is empty it's not going to show you the database right so we need to fill our database with some data so in order to fill our database with some data we can give this command so we have already given this use my db command and we are inside this uh, my db database you can see switched to db my db so now we can give this command db which means we want to execute some command in my db because we are inside uh, my db database and then you need to give the name of the collection which you want to create inside your database i'm going to name my collection as books let's say right and then you need to write dot and then write insert and then in these parentheses you can give any key value pair in the form of json inside these parentheses so i'm going to just uh, give my uh, values in the form of json so let's say i want to uh, just give the name of uh, the book and that i can do by just giving this kind of json value so my mongo db book and then i'm going to add the semicolon here and then press enter and it says write result inserted one that means our document is inserted in this collection so now we can view the database when we give the show db's command so when you press uh, this upper arrow on your keyboard you will uh, see all the previous commands so you can uh, always uh, give this show db's command 
and you can see now it's visible right so my db is visible here because we have one document inside our database now in order to view all the collections inside your database you give this command show collections and then semicolon and then press enter and it's going to show you all the collections inside your database we have created only one collection with the name books and that is shown here now in order to view the data or documents inside the collection you give this command so you need to write the database name or db because we are already using this uh, database right by using use my db command so db and then give the name of your collection in our case it's book and then just write find and then just add these parentheses semicolon press enter and it's going to show you all the documents inside your books collection and there is this one uh, document which is present inside our collection mongodb automatically adds this id to every document so this is added by mongodb automatically and this is the data which you have provided so this is how you can use the mongo shell in your command prompt right let me minimize this so we have also installed the mongo compass right so if it's not open you can always click on this uh, icon which is created on the desktop and it's going to open the mongo compass here for the first time when it starts it's going to show you uh, this kind of uh, window so i'm going to uh, click on all these next values and then i'm going to click on get started so i'm going to leave everything as default and then click on start using compass and now i can start using mongodb compass and it's a GUI application so I will be able to visualize my data in my MongoDB in a better way. So in order to create a new database connection I need to click on connect and then new connection and it's going to uh, open this new window for me otherwise you can already see that this window is already there now what it says here paste your connection string so if you know little bit about MongoDB in order to connect to a database we need a connection string you can also know more about uh, this connection string by clicking on this info uh, icon here and it will redirect you to this uh, web page where you can read more about this mongodb connection so what will be the connection string in our case so when you go to the mongo shell once again and when you have given this mongo command on your command prompt you will be able to see this connection string here so it's mongodb colon forward slash forward slash uh, 127.0.0.1 which is our local host this is the port at which mongodb has been started so our connection string will be uh, this one but the essential part of the connection string is up to this port right so you need to give uh, this connection string and after that these parameters are optional you can give them or you can just leave them so let's give this kind of uh, connection string on your mongodb documentation also you will see uh, the same uh, uh, documentation that you need to give the connection string in this format so if you are using some uh, host name you can give the host name in the middle let's copy this and uh, then i'm going to go to the mongo compass and then paste this here and instead of uh, this uh, host name i need to give the local host here right which is 127.0.0.1 right so this is the connection string i'm going to click on connect which is going to connect to mongodb server and now you can see the connection is successful and on the left hand side you will be able to see on which host and port it's running and then you will be able to see all the databases right so this is the list of all the databases and this is the database which we have created which is called mydb right using the mongo shell right now you can see it contains only one document so let's uh, click on this and you can see this document is now visible here right so using this mongodb compass it's really easy to visualize your data inside your mongodb you can also perform aggregation queries you can also view the schema 
explain plan indexes and you can also do the validation using this mongodb compass very easily so this is how you can download and install mongodb on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video